Hello everyone, Alexa Dunn here, and today we are going to do something a little bit different because I received my final copies of the Ivies, and this book is sexy AF. The paper is glossy, the naked book is hot, there are some really cool inside design elements. This is essentially the swankiest book of my books, Random House does not come to play, and so I thought it would be very fun to basically like give you a up close guided tour of some of the cool design elements of the ivies, the ivies, inside and out. I'm just kind of a design nerd like I like this kind of stuff and while I can't really like I can describe how like the paper feels to you seriously when you get this it's just this this is nice high quality cover paper which I'm a nerd for uh, but I will show you as much as I can and describe as much as I can so you can get as hype for my book baby as I am the Ivy's out May 25th wherever books are sold so here it is in all its glory, the front cover, and this was a jacket photo by Christine Blackburn, and cover design, so the whole jacket, by Casey Moses, who is really cool, and you can actually follow her on TikTok. She's been posting really cool TikToks with her different cover designs, and I'll link to that down below. So let's get in tight on this front cover. There's the top of the book with the blood splatter and the blurb and the pencils. I love the shavings from the eraser. They're cut through the paper. You have the ivies, the pencils come out the bottom. And my name. This was done as a photo shoot, so this is essentially real <laughs> with the paper and the pencils. And then they used Photoshop to make the pencils blue. I believe they were yellow when they took the photo. Then of course the title work, this is Photoshop and aspects of lighting and whatnot, but how cool is that? So let me show you the spine. Oh, how sexy is that? So that's how it looks when you turn it on the bookshelf. And I just love how eye catching it is the top. You get my name, the pencil stuck through the paper, the title, the pencil to the bottom, and then Crown, who's my publisher. I am possibly most in love with the spine and wait till you see the naked spine. And then we come to the back of the book. I'll zoom in again. So you have the tagline, admissions are killer at the top. And then my blurbs, Emily Lloyd-Jones, Laurie Elizabeth Flynn, JL, Emily Arsenal to get more of the blood design. And I love how they cut out the paper for this. Turning it back over, I'll show you the inside flap. They'd kill to get in. And then my book blurb. This is my tagline that I came up with. So they designed the cover and they had this blank space here and they asked me, do you have any ideas of what to put there? And I was like, well, I literally came up with a tagline when I started this whip and I'm so thrilled that they were able to fit it in here. Back flap time. So then this is the back flap with my photo. It sucks because of the pandemic. I couldn't get a new headshot. So this I just took while I was doing a video like a real YouTuber. So this is a screenshot that got cleaned up a bit in Photoshop. You have my bio, my name nice and big. And yeah, I color coordinated to the jacket. I asked them what color the flap was gonna be because I am that extra. And then my website and social media. And we'll just zoom in to give some love to Christine and Casey, seriously, always thank Everyone who works on your book, the designers. Now I want to show you some page design. This is the inside page. I love how they did the school crest with a tiny bit of blood. And then this is the title page. This is where I get to sign books and I'm the wheels are already turning and I, I think I'm gonna buy some red Sharpies. So this is what it looks like inside and I'm gonna go in tight on my chapter headings. Hey, there's my first line. So what's really cool is they have the like the little faint blood splatter. This is at the start of every single chapter. And here's an example of a text message insert. And what's so cool is that when I originally wrote this, I literally described, she wrote a text that said, I got into Yale bitches with the fire emojis. And it was my editor who clued me in, she's like, and you can see it's here in the next line, uh, dog emojis. And she was like, you know, we can actually create a text message. And that is how this all started. 
And here's another example of some text messages, some exchanges. They look really cool. And then they also did email inserts here, which again, I think is just so cool. I created email addresses and when I originally wrote the text, I just said the subject line was blah, 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 blah. And then we converted it into quote unquote real emails. Last but not least, I'm covering this with my fingers because it's at a part of the book that is spoilery, but I'm so proud of it. I have a character who has like a murder board on their computer and my main character sees it and the designer was like, what does this look like? And so I sent them a screenshot literally of index cards from Scrivener on a cork board and they did, they cre basically created some of those messages. So this is the one that I can show you because this is like basic and not particularly spoilery of one of the things. And look, they even added like a little fake push pin and I just think it's so cool. And last but certainly not least, I don't want to forget to show you the naked book. I love seeing what books look like without their dust jackets. And so this is what it looks like. You're like, okay, blue with red. I do like that that's a little bit almost like collegiate. It feels very school-like, but then the spine is the showstopper. Look at that. So this is slightly embossed in white and I just love the white against the red and that they use the same font from the cover for the ivies. And then if you go up here, my name, which is always very cool. And then down here, crown, but th it's all about this. <sighs> I just want to touch it. I love a good naked spine. So that is sweet. I hope you enjoyed that. I thought it was fun. I'm just so, proud of this book. I'm so happy to finally have it in my hands and I cannot wait for it to be out in the world. You will find all the links below that you need to pre-order this puppy or buy this if you're watching this later from your preferred bookstore of choice. And while I have you here, I am going to be having a virtual launch for the Ivies on May 26th at 5 p.m. PT, 7 p.m. CT, and 8 p.m. ET with Blue Willow Bookshop in Houston. And I'm going to be in conversation with Jessica Goodman, the author of They Wish They Were Us. I am so excited to have a conversation about thrillers and the Ivies and celebrate this book being out in the world. And so if you haven't yet bought a copy of the Ivies, pre-ordered a copy and you were planning to, why not order it from Blue Willow Bookshop and support the store hosting my launch? You will get a signed book plate with your book, which is pretty cool. And don't worry if you cannot make my launch, I have other virtual events coming up. I already have a few scheduled for the summer, which I will be posting information about very soon. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that. I post new videos two to three times a week. I want to still have this up because it's so beautiful and I love it. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching and happy writing. I'm just gonna stroke this lovely.